Uh, DC Comics just keeps getting worse with the gay crap. Uh, and uh, this is being done in absolute power now. It's not in the main storyline. It's very interesting. Like Mark Wade uh, has his main storyline where it's just uh, trucking along. It's a, it's a fairly bland and boring event. Like the government's coming after the superheroes. They're all fighting back. Okay. Uh, it's three out of four issues. And then they have all these tie-ins that just like make things crazy. And this one dials that up to 11. Where uh, if you don't know what's been going on in DC Comics, they've made like every character gay. And they've turned Superman into gay uh, Superman with uh, uh, this Jonathan Kent who's aged up uh, Clark Kent and Lois Lane's son. uh, Who's now taking on the mantle of Superman. And he's had this weird twink boyfriend uh, for a long time. And uh, they've been pushing that very, very hard. And even though nobody's been buying it, which is why they keep rebooting every like two years. Uh, But they keep pushing this further because they really want this. There's a third character uh, who's like a transgender character called Dreamer, and of course they call it's they're so cringy, the trans Dreamer. Yeah, she he's dreaming that he's a real woman. <laughs> it's like you can't make this stuff up. Uh, but uh, now it's going to be a weird love triangle as like uh, the gay Superman's into the Troon. <laughs> Got to drink that Troon shine, Jonathan Kent, because. Your twink boyfriend's not woke enough for 2024. We got to push the envelope even further. Yay. Slay queen. And we'll get into what they did in this like side story uh, in Action Comics 1060, uh, which they're doing with uh, the Absolute Power event in just a moment. My gosh, it's just it's excruciating. My name is John Delarose. I am a number one best-selling comic creator in, of independent comics, and we are trying to create an alternative away from this stuff. Uh, and we're working on it. We've got this beautiful uh, group of comics right now, which is is one series so far, Ayla Rin. Uh, but it's going to expand out into other series. It's going to be called the Terran Imperium Chronicles. And, uh, you know, you guys really spoke uh, to us here, $51,000. And when the audience spokes, we, speaks, we listen here. When you guys say, we want this, we want more sci-fi, we want more action-adventure, uh, we listen. And so we have been producing the best science fiction comics in years and I would love for you to check this out if you've not already. If you've not been a part of this, uh, it's still on Backer Kit. Uh, the campaign for Kickstarter is over, but I am getting everything ready for print right here. You can grab it. Here's actually a list of all my physical comics right here. So you can grab a uh, mix and match of everything. But The Hidden Emperor is the new one. This is a great one to, to start with if you guys have not already. And uh, the previous book, Overmind, right here uh, is also one you can enjoy. Uh, Grab both of those and then start your adventure today. It's in the description below. Thank you for supporting independent comics and the difference uh, from DC Comics. Uh, And this is what we're going to do. We're going to build something way better than they've got. I appreciate you guys so much for the tremendous support. All right. So so Jonathan Kent crashed on Nia Nal. Nia Nal. uh, Dreamers, the precog superhero from Supergirl TV show written by the actor who played her, Nicole Maines. who's, who's Who's a dude? by the way. Um, and, uh, you know, they hang out, they have some breakfast and, uh, you know, he, uh, he likes her now him. He likes him. Let's not, uh, let's not, uh, I had a dream last night, but I need more clarity to understand it. Hence the murder muffin. <laughs> oh gosh. Uh, and Amanda Waller shows up. She's the bad guy. This, uh, large and in charge black ladies, uh, taking over the everything. Um, yeah, and, and I liked that about Mark Wade. Like is right that the large and in charge black ladies are are uh, are the villains. T- I wonder if this is meant to be T. Franklin because I know she really went hard at Mark Wade, uh, accused him of shouting the N word. Maybe maybe that was why this is happening. Interesting, interesting here. Uh, and so uh, nice town you got here. You could tell this is written by somebody who just writes in tropes and not actual characters. Um, and so, uh, they show up, this is a the little fight here, tries to get, uh, uh, the, the tranny working for him and, uh, included in part two, the suicide squad dream team killed Sarah Nakamura, the mother of Jonathan Kent's boyfriend. Good. Uh, <laughs> uh, like end that bloodline for sure. Uh, During the assault on the Fortress of Solitude, Superboy turned into Brainiac Queen's puppet. The Dreamer turned against Amanda Waller. Wasn't seen again. There she is. She's out to remake the world in her sick, twisted way that brings nothing but pain. It's interesting concept. (laughs) You know, if you apply that to transgenderism, that's pretty funny. 
Uh, oh my gosh. But my family would never want that ever. Amanda, if you're listening, you can go F. Yeah, definitely sounds like a dude. Definitely speaks like a dude. Thank you, Dreamer. <laughs> and so you can see all this going on in the background. They're building all this around it. And they don't show you a lot of like the gayness in the main event. I guess try to hide it from you a little bit. Hope that you'll just come in on it and like be so addicted to the main event, you'll buy all this stuff. In Absolute Power Super Sun Special, uh, it, gets, uh, it gets more interesting. Uh, and uh, he tries to rid, him, rid himself of Brainiac Queen's influence. Seems his feelings were deeper than he let on. And here he goes. I wish we'd stayed up all night talking. What else? Yeah, this is. I'm basically, you know, RAP comic story. And I know he did. He did these uh, beautiful drama, ver- dramatic versions of these comics. This is me doing it with my 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 true voice. What else? <laughs> Hi, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite as good as him. Uh, I miss that guy for sure. Um, so I wish I'd held you and told you how amazing you were. I wish I didn't have to say goodbye again. This is even cringier than the Johnny Storm and the uh, <laughs> the weird alien. If you haven't, didn't watch that video earlier this week, this might be worse. <laughs> um, and so uh, then uh, this is uh, our, our little pink-haired dude's mad about this. Jay, I don't know how else to say this, but Dreamer's dead. Good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. I'm not letting you finish that sentence. And here it is. Uh, I guess uh, my worst nightmare is not having a home with you in it. If the world is going to keep tearing my guts out, then I want to put up Halloween decorations for Christmas. Movie nights where you put the chocolate candy and the popcorn. A fresh start where we take nothing for granted. Let's move to San Francisco. <laughs> Nobody's moving to San Francisco these days. I it used to, I mean, this is so dated. It used to be the queer capital of the world, dude. But like um, now, it's just like crime and poverty. You might not want to hang out there. Your twink guy is going to get uh, mugged. Uh, but uh, you should move to Palm Springs. I think. I think that's where uh, where all the uh, the bougie the bougie gays live these days <laughs> in California. Love you, John. Wait. And then here we go. We're on this path together. Let's do it. Great. Oh, so uh, there you are. I'm not uh, entirely sure suggesting you move in with your boyfriend just after you've had a moment with the dream ghost of a woman you had feeling for us, now has definitely died. Your boyfriend's glad she did, blaming her for the death of his mother as the basis for a long-term relationship, but I'm sure there's worse reasons. And as you can see, even Rich Johnson, in his snarky commentary, can tell you that this Cena Grace and Nicole Maines, like, again, a gay dude who made Iceman gay, and the uh, uh, transgender actor dude pretending to be a woman uh, <laughs> are the writers of this. And you could tell they're just a disaster of writers. This is just a cluster all the way around. The dialogue's cringy. It's awful. Um, and this is, uh, this is what they're doing to DC Comics. DC all in, everybody. Now, um, <laughs> these, these are all wrapping up. And, and it's really funny. I've talked before on how uh, the all-in initiative, restarting everything, rebooting October 1, gave everybody jumping off points to where they're not reading this stuff. Sales are dead. I've talked to, uh, I talked to multiple comic retailers, and nobody's buying this event. Uh, absolute power, even the main line with Mark Wade stuff, which is, honestly, like, I mean, I, I read issue three, you know, you, this stuff's not in it. This is all in the side stories uh, and uh, trying to trick you, as usual. The issue three was fine. It's just not that exciting because it's like, okay, a super villain's trying to kill all the the villain or all the heroes. Okay, what's what are the actual lasting impacts of this? It's not going to be anything because everybody who dies is going to be brought back. Everybody, everything that was changed is going to be reverted back. We already know this. It's just like DC doesn't have a continuity anymore that matters, uh, and uh, and they've just rebooted things too many times. They won't restart things and and stay there, uh, and so. Uh, everybody's been burned, and everybody's burned out on all these characters. Uh, from what I understand, even the new stuff, like only Absolute Batman is selling. Uh, the rest of it, nobody gives a fig about the DC line. These characters have been ruined. Uh, you ruin Superman when you make it into this like weird gay trans love triangle thing. Nobody wants this from Superman. Uh, nobody ever wanted this from Superman. And uh, they've done it to all their characters across the line. Just one too many burns all the way around. And uh, people are not coming back. 
Leave a comment down below with what you think about this. Hit the like and subscribe button, my friends. Make sure to pre-order The Alternative to DC Comics. This is a wonderful, wonderful graphic novel. You'll love it. It's in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for supporting our channel and our artistic efforts. We'll be back soon.